Okay, guys, hello, welcome back. This is Lindsay with Garage Reviews. Today we're doing something a little bit different. So I picked out best tasting protein powders that I wanted to do. We thought we would do something fun. So I actually gave that article list to Sam. He ordered a couple for me to try. I don't know which ones he tried. So we're just gonna kind of do a blind taste test. Obviously I have an idea, but he might have switched up the flavors. I'm not really sure. So Sam behind me has all of the flavors available. We're just gonna kind of give my reaction on which ones I actually think taste the best. So let's go. Number one, do we follow the directions to a T? Will she even know? I mean, it's hard to say. Well, if you saw my four gauge pre-workout video, you know we are super professional. So I'm actually really curious about this. I don't, I don't know what he's mixing up. So I think that there's one I could probably pick out because it's a distinct flavor unless he changed up the flavoring, like ordered a different flavor or something. But otherwise I kind of don't, I'm kind of going into this blind a little bit. But I think I will be able to recognize the flavors if they are like as good as the website claims they are. So we'll see. I mean, one of them's pretty that was cheddary. That's the one I was thinking of. Like, if I, I'm hopefully, unless it's just, you know, terrible, it's the idea of Fruity Pebbles. Like, I'm a Fruity Pebbles girl. Like, I think I should be able to pick that out, so. Okay, I'm gonna try not to That's look fine. at the color as well, because I feel like if it is colored at all, it might give something away. So, here we go, ready? It definitely has like a slight aftertaste to it, like it kind of like um, like artificial flavors to it, but. So this is, I'm gonna go Vanilla Quest Protein. Overall, I think that it tastes really good. It's super creamy. I do think it has like a slight sweetener, artificial sweetener aftertaste, but overall, I would give this probably four stars. Number two. Okay. I don't know why I get nervous, this is silly. <laughs> okay, I would have said vanilla on this one. Did we order two vanillas? I don't, I would have said vanilla again. I, <laughs> okay, this one actually has me step. In terms of taste, I think it's really good. It doesn't have any sort of weird aftertaste, super creamy. Do I need like ginger in between to like clear my palate or something? <laughs> How would you compare it for the first one? I like this one better. Yeah, I like this one a lot better. Still creamy, still really good, no aftertaste. That's what I would say, but I, I don't know what it is. Now I'm nervous. I don't like failing things. <laughs> I thought for sure, like, I know there's some different flavoring options that we have on that list. So I thought like, for instance, the Fruity Pebbles, surely that's gonna stand out to me. I don't know. Round two. Here we go. It is round three. Round three. Okay, ready? Oh, okay. I already know what this one is. I can like smell it as it's like coming into my face. That's gotta be mango. That's gotta be mango. It's actually really good. I don't know if I'd want to drink this all the time. It is very sweet, very sweet. But the mango comes through really, like even as I was like opening up the lid, if I'm wrong about this, I give up, but <laughs> I'm 100% this is a mango, for sure. Good, good, just overly sweet in my opinion, but like overall the taste is there. I mean, it tastes really fruity, and now you're making me question if it's fruity pebbles. <laughs> I still think it's mango, but I guess like I'll really figure that out on the next one. Overall, I did really like it. It was really good. There was no weird aftertaste, it was creamy, there was no clumps. Mixed really well. Oh, hold on. I'm still gonna go mango, right? Okay. Ready? Oh. I mean, okay. I will say I did get a clump. <laughs> I did get a clump right off the bat. But peanut butter. It's gotta be a peanut butter. It's so good. Tastes like peanut butter. It tastes like PB Fit. If you've ever had that peanut butter, like, so it's not as rich in peanut butter flavor, like you don't, you're missing kind of like that fat element that gives it the creaminess. But overall, this is so good. This might actually be my favorite one so far. I love this peanut butter flavor. Yeah, no weird aftertaste, super creamy. 
I will say it didn't mix as well as the other ones. There is like a little bit of grittiness, a little bit of clumpiness to it. But in terms of like flavoring, that one for sure is my favorite. Samisms, write that one down on the board. Oh my gosh, glory me, that is so good. <laughs> That's dangerous. I don't know if that, if, I don't, I know which one this is for sure. I haven't read the ingredients about it. I hope that it's a good quality one. I hope there's nothing that I disagree with in it because that is delicious fruity pebbles. Spot on, fruity pebbles, no questions in my mind. I'm still confused about the first two, but for this one, yeah. Fruity pebbles, you get the fruity pebble taste right away. Super creamy, no clumps. Nathan? 100%. It's 100% fruity pebbles, it's so good. This is your bad boy, okay? This is it. That's dangerously delicious. Fruity pebbles, it's danger dangerously <laughs> delicious. If you uh, want to pay me fruity pebbles, I have just given you a new slogan. It's dangerously delicious, so you're... And it's not like super overly sweet either. I will say there's like green and yellow dyes sitting in the bottom of the cup. Insert, shake it off. I feel like you guys tried to trick me on the first two. As I'm going through the list of what I remember, I feel like the first two had to have been the same protein powder because they are both vanilla. I'm sure of it, but I can't think of what it is. Okay. Oh, this, this smells like strawberry. I don't like the texture. That's a casein. I can tell you right now. However, if you can get past the texture of this, this reminds me of um, like a strawberry shortcake like a like an ice cream strawberry. It's really good. I don't like the texture though. I just don't like casein. So if this is the fact that it, you know, it's not the taste, it's me. I'm the problem. But overall still really good. All right. Number one. Okay. She nailed it with our good friend Quest. Pick up at any store anywhere. I actually take the Quest protein bars quite often. I don't do their protein shakes, but I do like their bars. All right. So. Number okay. two. Is it Quest again? Was the Quest. Yeah. <laughs> However, it was quite creamy, uh, according to you, and uh, quite a bit different texture this is what compared I, to the first one. This is what I think happened, is because I did feel like they were super similar, but I felt like the aftertaste was totally different on the first and the second. I just kind of wondered if I got used to it. Either that or maybe it just sitting and I did give it a few more shakes because I was trying to make sound like I was making one. Sure. So I wonder if it just it got broken up better. Lesson yeah. learned on Quest. Once you make it, let it sit, let it simmer, then drink it. Much creamier taste. And not as much aftertaste, I feel like, once you like give it good shakes. I don't know. I knew after the third one, I was like, they're messing with me. Number two. Yep. I knew. You can't not know. I mean. You can't. It's. it's like just opening up. You know what it smells like? It's so strong. It smells like there's a mix between the thousand percent vitamin C packets yes. and tang. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except for it's mango flavor. <laughs> it's a <laughs> kick in the glass and now in a huge plastic container. I did like this. It was really sweet though. Hang on, mango pineapple. Oh. Good call, Nathan. I didn't catch that. Didn't catch the pineapple. I didn't catch the pineapple. It was overwhelmingly mango. Number two. Number three. Number three, technically number four. In fact, <laughs> this might have been my favorite. Except for I got the clumps, I think it just needed better shaking. But um, the peanut butter was so good on this. So I'm not surprised that it's Transparent Labs. I feel like they always have really good flavor profiles. But yeah, overall, this peanut butter was so good. Based off the smell of it, I was like, man, I bet this would go great with chocolate milk. I kind of thought it into some chocolate milk. I kind of thought if I mixed oatmeal and then like melted chocolate chips on top for like a treat, a treat so at night, that would be so good. That's us. Speaking of treat so, yeah, fruity pebbles. See, <laughs> in terms of taste alone, this might be my favorite. But when I know what I know about Transparent Labs, that kind of edges it out. If that makes sense. But in terms of taste alone, I mean, this was. A, a bowl of fruity pebbles. From an ingredients side of things, not would, just taste, but on the back end, would you recommend it as well? I don't know, I haven't dug into it yet. I'm gonna have to look at it, we're gonna talk about it. Okay. So we'll find out. And this is obviously officially licensed by Fruity Pebbles, so you know you're actually getting like the legit Fruity Pebble formula flavor profile, you know? So it definitely, it was Fruity Pebbles for sure. 
Oh, delicious. Not fruitios. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and last but not least. I knew it was casein. Yeah, I just don't like the texture. I can't get over the texture of this, but if you can get over it, it was really good. It definitely was strawberry, like short cakey flavor or um, those like strawberry ice cream bars. That's what it reminded me of. That's it, guys. Let's go talk about at least a little bit of the macro profile and ingredients in these. By the way, you pretty much nailed it all. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Okay, so let's go over the Quest protein first. Obviously, this is the first one that I tested, the vanilla milkshake flavor. As I said before, like I still think it did have a slight aftertaste on my initial try until they tried to fool me like with middle school boys and then like giggle in the background like they do. But overall, I mean, I did like the flavoring of this. I thought it was really good. Now, Quest is a mix of whey and casein. Now, I did not taste the casein. I could only taste the whey. And I really noticed that with the texture. So this was creamy, it was smooth. Overall, I really liked this. Now the macro profile on this is really good depending on what flavor you get. They have a variety of flavors like chocolate, peanut butter, vanilla, more. Now the macro profile on this is around 20 to 26 grams of protein depending on what flavor you get and around 110 to 120 calories per serving. So overall, super great macro profile. Again, really minimal in fat and carbs as well and comes out to only like a dollar 30 per serving. One thing about Quest to know is that it is not third party tested. So if that is something that is important to you, obviously choose a different protein powder. And again, like it's sweetened with sucralose and stevia. It didn't feel overly sweet. Sometimes I've experienced tasting protein powders that are both sweetened with stevia and sucralose and they just taste like so sweet in your mouth. This was not that, but it definitely had a weird aftertaste to me. Overall though, in terms of the taste, I would probably give this around four stars. So good job on all the people who did test this out because I definitely think this is one of the better tasting protein powders. Okay, this next one was, I'm assuming you pronounce it squeak. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's like my best guess on it. As I'm reading this, I realize I have to say this word out loud and I have no idea how to pronounce it. But this was like overwhelmingly mango. This is a mixture of mango and pineapple. I really did get the pineapple coming through. If you like super sweet treats, then maybe you'll really like this. It was kind of interesting because I was expecting more of those like creamy flavors like peanut butter, chocolate, vanilla, what we're used to when we're taking a protein powder. The mango kind of took me by surprise, but it wasn't a bad thing. And in terms of its macro profile, I mean like really solid, zero grams of fat, like one to two carbs and about 22 grams of protein in this. Overall, I mean, the, I think that the macro profile on this is really good and a minimal amount of calories at 100 calories per serving. Now this is a whey protein isolate costing around $1.79 per serving. So overall, not a huge cost, but it's still getting up there, still more expensive than the Quest. Another thing to know is Squeak is also not third-party tested. So again, if that's something that's important to you, move on to a different protein powder. Okay, and with the Seek protein powder, they have a ton of like weird flavors. They've got like watermelon wave, they have blue ras freeze, they have this mango pineapple. So definitely if you're looking to break away from those kind of like traditional protein flavoring options, give this one a try. Let us know if you do, let us know what flavor you tried and what your thoughts are on about it. Okay, so overall, Transparent Labs tends to be one of my favorite products, like in terms of their pre-workout, in terms of their creatine, in terms of their protein powders. Like I think that they do a really good job with their flavoring on this. Nothing that I've tasted from them yet has been overly sweet or undersweet. I think that they like hit the nail on the head with that. In terms of Transparent Labs, I mean, they are transparent with their products. All their ingredients are clearly listed on the label. You can also go to their website and read like all of their ingredients, what they're for. Like they just outline it so well. Obviously Transparent, Transparent Labs, I think it makes sense. In terms of the macros, it's 150 calories per serving. So pretty good. But the thing that I really love about this is it has 28 grams grams of protein per serving. Again, with a minimal amount of fat and carbs, around like 2.5 grams of fat and around two to four grams of carbs. So overall, I mean, the amount of protein per serving in this is just so fantastic. Another thing to note about Transparent Labs is they are probably more on the expensive side, costing $1.99 per serving. I think that it is well worth it. I mean, it's third-party tested. It has a ton of protein and I think it just tastes so good. 
Now the Dymatize ISO 100, obviously, I mean, just tastes so good. Now this is a hydrolyzed protein. If you want more information about that, we have a video coming out soon talking about hydrolyzed protein with Destiny, our registered dietitian. And I think it's a fantastic conversation that we have. So definitely continue to come back until that video is released so you can hear all about that. But in terms of flavoring, I mean, this is so good. Like I can't express to you just like every cell, every like soul in my heart and my being and like it just awoken okay it felt like christmas morning or it felt like the first day of spring i loved it i don't know what else to say about it now it is informed choice now that doesn't necessarily mean that it's third party tested but there is some testing that goes on with that so overall i really like that and then the macro profile on it is actually really decent as well two grams of carbs one gram of fat and then 25 grams of serving i mean that's kind of like hitting the sweet spot in my opinion and also this is a cheaper product costing only a dollar per serving. I mean, that's insane to me. So overall, like I don't have a lot of negative things to say about this. This is like an old school protein that I think a lot of us have kind of forgotten about. It's been around for a very long time, but I say, give it a try. Let us know your thoughts. Now guys, as you know, if you have watched any of my videos, like you know I am honest in my reviews. Legion is up there for me. Everything that I've tasted, everything that I've tested from Legion, I've been like a super fan until now. Okay, like that is just my honest opinion. I just don't like the texture of this case in protein. I think the flavor is there. I think it tastes delicious, but I just can't get past a little bit of that grittiness, a little bit of that different texture that is in a whey protein. If that doesn't bother you, then great. I think that Legion is fantastic, but for me, I just probably wouldn't choose it based on the fact that it's not way alone. Now, Legion is third-party tested and it costs $1.99 per serving. So same as Transparent Labs. With Legion, you can go ahead, subscribe to a monthly shipping plan and that will lower your overall cost per serving and per month per container, however you want to look at it. However, it is still up there in cost. But in terms of its macro profile, I mean, obviously it's great. It is from Legion. Depending on the flavor, it has a varying amount of carbs and fat. It's about zero to two grams of fat, two to five grams of carbs, and then about 22 to 24 grams of protein. So overall, I mean, if you are looking for a case in protein that does taste good and you don't mind that kind of like different texture about it, I think this is a great option. Okay, so earlier Sam and I talked about my favorite pick. I think that in terms of taste alone, my favorite is probably the Fruity Pebbles, but Transparent Labs is a very close second. I don't know. I think it depends what mood I'm in to decide which one I would go for that day. I think both of those are just like amazing options. Also guys, make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you can continue to see videos like this one. Also, if you wanna purchase any of these products that we've shown, that we've talked about, that we've tested, we've made it super easy placing a link below the like button. When you use that link to buy the product, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does give us a small commission. And lastly, if you wanna go ahead and read our full written article review listing out all of our top picks, we have a link below the like button as well. Make sure to check that out. Thanks guys for watching. This has been Lindsay with Garage and Reviews. Peace. Is it squeak or seek? Somebody correct me, I don't know. <laughs>